tuning in. Today's question, does God hate? Does God hate? You know, we hear a lot about in the political world about hate speech and about people's rights. What does the Bible say about God? Does God hate? But before we answer that, before we look at what God's Word says, let's remember some of the other things that God's Word says. You may or may not have heard the song, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves us. We think about John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16. John 3.17 for God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Then we think about what God has done for man. We've heard the statement, man is a free moral agent, free to do as he will. And he's given that choice by his creator. When we think about what is said of Moses, and Moses is said of Moses in the Hebrews chapter 11, where there we read that for Moses I chose rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Moses made a choice to suffer affliction with the people of God. The other choice was to enjoy the pleasures of sin. But we see what Moses chose. So back to the question, does God hate? For the first passage I'd like for us to look at is Psalms, or Psalm chapter 11. The entire chapter is very applicable to what we're talking about today. Psalm chapter 11, and we ask the question again, does God hate? In the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the stream, that they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked, and him that loveth violence his soul hateth. So here in Psalm 11 and verse 5, those that do wicked and love violence, the Lord hates his soul. Verse 6, Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness. His countenance doth behold the upright. So does God hate? According to Psalm 11, yes, he does. He hates sin, those that love sin, wickedness, and violence. Our next passage we'd like to look at is Proverbs chapter 6, beginning with verse 16. And again, let's ask the question, does God hate? Verse 16 of Proverbs chapter 6. These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among the brethren. And again, does God hate these seven things the Bible tells us he hates? The next passage we'd like to look at is Malachi chapter 2. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 16. For the Lord, the God of Israel, saith that he hateth putting away, or divorce. For one covereth violence with his garment, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit, 
that you deal not treacherously. So here we read that the Lord hates violence. He hates those that are wicked. He hates sin. And he hates putting away or divorce. And then finally, let's look at Romans chapter 11 and verse 22. Romans chapter 11 and verse 22. Behold therefore the goodness and severity of God on them which fail severity, but toward thee goodness, if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou shalt be cut off. So we see that with God there is goodness and there is severity. God hates sin. God hates wickedness. God hates violence. God hates divorce. And that is not all. I said, that's not all. There are very many more things that God hates. But that is the, the umbrella or the broad brush statement. God hates sin. He hates lying. He hates putting away. He hates violence. He hates wickedness. So God, yes, does hate. But he also loves. He loves righteousness. And he loves the world and loves all mankind so much that he gave his only begotten son. But we must choose righteousness. The question was asked in the long ago, Whom will you serve? And the statement was made, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Thank you for watching.